Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the questions I had about uh, the uh, core isolation feature in the Windows Security app that, for some of you, keeps uh, turned off. And even if you turn it on, it will turn it off again. And this has to do most of the time with incompatible system drivers. But there's a few questions that came and arose from it, uh, from the interaction on the channel. So if you go into your Windows Security app and you go into the device security and core isolation details, one of the features is memory integrity. And you might have seen one of my older videos where this is actually off. And I told you that it's because of an incompatible driver. Um, what you could do with that? Well, of course, you can check if there's a update to that driver now. In my case, it's a very unique device that I use, uh, not something that you find and that most people use, but it is a um, what we call a software-defined receiver. This is very special hardware, and the drivers that came with it were actually keeping my uh, memory integrity off all the time. Now you see it's on, and it's on since the last update to the software that actually runs the device. It came with a brand new driver, and probably part of it was you needed they needed to update so that this doesn't happen anymore. One of the things that will keep it off most of the time is when drivers are still based on older code that you know ran on Windows Seven, for example. Uh, those are probably never going to be updated again, and what happens is that your memory integrity will probably stay off. You can actually uh, turn it on when it's off, and it's going to go through a cycle of checking compatibility. It will actually tell you what is not working, what driver is the problem. The other question that came is, can it be fixed on its own with either Windows updates? Because we know that drivers do come through Windows updates. It could, definitely. If a driver that is incompatible came through the Windows Update system, then uh, maybe an updated driver would fix this issue and work fine. Most of the drivers that actually do this are often not, like I said, for Windows 10 and 11 because when they're very specific for only new versions of the Windows operating system, usually they are compatible. So what do you do? Well, one, you can run Windows updates and see if there's updates for the drivers. When you turn it on, it's going to tell you what driver is wrong. You can always go to the device manager and check there for an updated driver of whatever is blocking the system. So you can go you know, and check, expand the, uh, the, the, the place, go into whatever driver is blocking it, and when you click driver, you have update driver. You can click that and see if there's an updated version that's going to show up. The other thing is going to the manufacturer website. You can go to that manufacturer uh, device. If it's part of your system, what I would recommend is go to the manufacturer of your PC, see if there's updated drivers there. If it's on an older machine, don't expect this to ever work. Most drivers will never have had that compatibility and that core isolation will be off. If it's off and there's nothing you can do, is it dangerous? Well, technically, it is better that it's on, of course. Is it dangerous? Danger goes a lot with you know keeping your system up to date and what you do, which means mitigation is there. If you're careful, if you don't download you know all sorts of stuff from illegal websites or downloads, of, of software from websites you shouldn't go to, things like that, click links and emails that you shouldn't click. If you are careful, if your system, your Windows system is up to date, the danger is very limited. Um, you are at higher risk of, but no, it's not a huge danger as long as you're actually staying safe and being careful with what you do. Um, in many cases, the core isolation being off, nothing will be, you, you know, you, you can't do anything. It will probably stay like that forever because 
a lot of older systems, the drivers are never going to be updated because after a couple of years, they just don't do more drivers. So that's pretty much the thing about it. If it is off, well, don't go overly crazy about it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.